is the perfect time of year to incorporate the fall harvest into your menu. It sure is. So today we're going to show you how to make a delicious butternut squash bisque with Chef John Slattery. Now you're from 4 Main Street in Huntington and it smells great in here. Awesome. We just had a great fall festival this weekend out in Huntington. So we had lots of, uh, lots of people out there, lots of harvestings, apples from the orchards down the street and squashes from the field. So we made a really nice butternut squash soup. I thought I'd share that with you today. And it Thank was, you. Um, first one is easy stuff about squash, butternut squash. And it's kind of a pain in the butt. You know, it's hard to peel and things like that, but it's not too bad. If you cut off an end so you get a flat surface. Oh, see, that's the tricky part. And cut off another end so you get a flat surface. Yeah, the other thing, funny, uh, yesterday we were making This is going to make life so much easier. And my mom was having the hardest time peeling that thing because it was so slippery. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> if you hold it that way, you're right. Off. That's yeah. a good idea. The next super important thing is if you're still using the stick peeler, mm -hmm. like from the 70s, throw it in the trash, please, <laughs> okay. and get get at least a Y peeler. they got fancy big, like Williamson has a big one. And all that. But those Y peelers of any kind make it so much easier to go around a vegetable. Oh, yeah. And... The, most of them are really neat. They actually Whoa. go, if you want to get crazy, they go back and <laughs> forth. You, back and forth you can go back and forth. You didn't even know that. I didn't know that until recently. I knew that. I did that with my cucumbers. So that's, and then you peel it up, cut it in half, scoop out the seeds, and then throw it in the pot. Okay, so we'll fast forward to that. We're going to fast forward to now, that. Now, I know you can do stuff with pumpkin seeds. What about squash seeds? Nah. Nah, I don't All think right. so. I mean, no. You can and decorate then, with them. I'm just kidding. I don't know. About an, it takes about an hour. With the squash seeds. It was a joke. Okay. It takes about an hour to boil them until they're soft and tender. And that's after they've been boiled? Yep. Yeah, so okay. Now I'm just going to heat them back up like we just boiled them. Okay. So you boil them up, drain up the water. Look at it. It just falls apart. Nice. So then we're going to drain out the water. And there's a great color, too. You can buy them pre-cut, right? If uh, you, you don't can buy them want to have to cut Maybe them. Maybe some of the grocery stores have them that way, I've I'm sure. I've seen them. All right, so now we've But we've I need a pot. recipe to, to use it for. We're so. going to put in the pot um, a little bit of the shallots. The beer? Right yeah. there. Oh, shallots, here you go. <laughs> it's this host. Sometimes I can't see through, but I, we figure it out. Here we go. we got some shallots in there. Shallots. I notice you're in no way measuring. A little bit of oil. I can tell you the measurements, but then you know, then you know exactly what I'm putting in. That's then. a good point. <laughs> then we got some time? It's all about taste. All what about do you like? time. Time is important. If, if I tell you the things that I think taste good, and you think they might taste good, you try them. That's true. I mean, we're using about two tablespoons of the shallots and about a teaspoon of each of the um, fresh thyme. Oh, the so thyme you have fresh great. herbs. What if you don't have fresh herbs to uh, make this? Can you use the dry? You could use some dry, but you wouldn't right? put those in right now. Okay. You'd wait a little bit. Okay. So if you're doing dry herbs, you don't let them cook, but you cook up the, the fresh herbs. So here we have some, some shallots Whoa. cooking off with a little bit of those herbs. We're going to put our salt and pepper. Oh, yeah. Now, if you're just making squash... That Himalayan pink sea salt that we like so much. Fancy. Now, it gives me a little pink. It's like breast cancer awareness and stuff like that, so I think I'm just it always going to use pink salt. Now, you plan that out just like that. Hey, if you're making regular squash, do you do brown sugar in yours? What's that? If you're just making oh, regular squash. If I'm squash. just going to mash it with butter, brown sugar and butter, or maple syrup and butter. Either way, I love it. Mm. Salt, oh. pepper. I'm a very simple guy. So now we're going to put the, the, we're gonna put the cooked squash that we cooked up in. Nice. And it's, we're going to add to that a little splash of a... Autumn beer, something that's going to have those autumn ale flavors. Maybe like an um, Oktoberfest? An Oktoberfest, okay. an autumn ale, some kind of fest. There's so many beers out there. This one's from Maine, you know, nice and local New England. We're just going to put a little bit in there to deglaze the shallots and off the bottom of the pan. And then you can drink the rest of it. Oh, well, here we go. All right, Ashley, after oh, you yeah, try it's all delicious. Set. No, don't worry about it. Just have some. It's I mean, only it's, you could drink the rest It's Monday morning. It. So, it's you know. 5 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now that's reducing for a minute. We're going to let the, about half that liquid dissolve. It's almost gone already because the pan was Ooh, nice and hot. Smell. We're going to add a little bit of heavy cream. That's the stuff. Now, if you're okay. looking and to, then time to cut for a few pounds, can you uh, <laughs> well, avoid the, the heavy we cream? We only use a tiny bit, and oh. so otherwise you would have to use a lot more milk or cream. But because we're not, we're, we're only using so little, we're just going to grab the little buzz sticky here. Now, this is an immersion a buzz blender. Sticky. Buzz sticky. Oh, immersion buzz blend. Sticky. Yeah. <laughs> a whizzer. Huh? There you go. <laughs> a whizzer? Is that what we're calling it? And very, and we're just going to go with that little bit of, and we're only enough making it up for one lunch right now. Okay. And our, you know, two or three people, so we did a small amount that you can see yeah. it can be done. And there we go, we whizzed it together. And then the last thing I wanted to do was going to add in some grated fresh apples. Oh. Grated apples? Grated. I never thought about doing that. That is apples. the easiest thing ever. You don't even have to peel them. No, because that's all good. You want the pectin. That's really good for you. So we're going to try and get everything. You know, now, what's the pectin? The pectin is um, something that's like the gelatin in, the, in our bodies, but mm -hmm. the plants have naturally. Huh. Now, what kind of apple is that? That one was a Macintosh from one of the, the one of the booths at the fair this weekend. And if I may, go apple picking if you have some time. <laughs> it is so much fun for me. And the I last thing, it. just for a little bit of flavoring, we've you got may. some fresh nutmeg. 
and uh, we're gonna just grate it into here. Well, fresh being that it's ground, but fresh being that we're grating it right now, so it's gonna release the most flavor from the nutmeg versus having one that's already been in the store on grated I up. I cannot wait to try this. And uh, voila, quick and easy oh. butternut bisque with oh, uh, a harvest. Easy. That Easy enough. smells so good. But we're not done Chef yet. John. Okay, then you want the salad? No. Oh, we're going to come back. I'm going to take a breather. Yeah, we'll okay. Don't gonna, go anywhere. I can't wait to try We're going to show you how to. You just keep me guessing, so I just come out and we'll <laughs> play along. We're, we're ready to go. It's, yeah. it's so like a uh, salad one of them later, shows. right? Yeah, absolutely. Good, good. And we're back with Chef John Slatter from 4 Main Street in Huntington. Now we're making a salad to go with our soup, right? With some beautiful kale. Yes, we got all these great kales from the farmers this weekend. And I picked this. This one here is a really nice tender kale. And How do you know green. what's a tender kale? The dark green? I eat it here, Tricep. All right, sounds good. But, this you know, is a super food, most right? Of these, kale is awesome for you. And the darker the green, the better. And all, there's so many different wonderful things about it. Thank you. you know, but most of them are pretty tough and they need to be braised or cooked down. But th there are a few varieties that are tender all the time. Well, that's, this is amazing. Normally, I couldn't eat this stuff raw. I can't do it. This is not bad at all. Exactly. So I'm, this, I chose this variety to make a salad with. And in the beginning, in the spring, when any of them are young, you can make great kale salads. Uh, so we're just going to shift out this up a little bit. Which is nice. a fancy way of saying cut. Slice. <laughs> Shred. Okay, you know. so we've got some of a chiffonade of the kale, and we've got uh, some cranberries here because, you know, they're fall like, and we think that's pretty tasty. <laughs> craisins, love those. Craisins, those are very What good. are craisins, really? Are they cranberry raisins? They are dried, sweetened they're dried cranberries. cranberries. So, like, you know how a raisin is a dried. So, why don't they just date, call them dried right? raisins? They call them because we're, we're, we're crazy, crazy, but, crazy for craisins. Oh, okay. I guess we're all crazy for craisins. Craisins, I believe, is trademarked and it's a patented thing too. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. I hope the people. So now otherwise, you're there are lots of dried sweetened cranberries out there on the market too. <laughs> That's a good point. You're chopping up the. Yep. So then I've got I chopped up a little bit of the nice that's butternut squash that and then you the great. Boiled? Yep. That we had already boiled. Now right now you're looking for something that I don't think we have anymore. You were gonna <laughs> you, you were gonna. Um, yep. And I had already cleaned it away because it wasn't. But we'll just dice some nice apple into the salad here. Nice. This is very much a fall salad. Hey, take me through. You have this squash right here. What's that other monstrosity right over there? That is a Hubbard squash. And, it, you know, it can be used just like any other squashes. This soup can be made with any squash. Pumpkin, Hubbard, acorn, turban, um, all the buttercup. My, one of my favorites is buttercup because it's got a nice sweet flavor. That one's got a dark orange flesh. And any squash, pretty much if you just cut it in half, take out the seeds and bake it in the oven for about an hour, you can scoop it out and do any, you know, make a, any kind of thing with it. So we've got in our, our dish here those, those, uh, those apples and the squash and the kale and the craisins. A little salt. A little salt and pepper? A little pepper. And now what's the dressing looking like? And the dressing here is we're going to take, in here we're going to take what we got back to here. Here we go. You guys for the immersion blender. You are clean ready. Up. Nice. So that's how you clean off an immersion blender. It's pretty easy. Yep. Just, just dunk, dunk it in, in some water. water. Well, I mean, then when you're done with it, when, when we're, uh, for the day, you probably should wash it all the yeah, way yeah. through. <laughs> <and> <laughs> right. but the we're going to make a salad dressing real quick here. So we're going to put in a little bit of uh, shallots. shallots, some apple cider vinegar from one of the local apple orchards, Yummy. a little more pepper. This is easy. Um, a little fresh sage. I see Pressures. apple cider here. Is that for yep. drinking or for the... Nope, there's a little splash of that going to go in here as well. Nice. Okay. And because we want to tie our flavors together, we might as well put a tiny splash of the beer. Yes, why not? It, we didn't drink it all yet. No, so not, that, yeah. Ashley yeah. was drinking it. No, I wasn't. That. That's a lie. Sure you are. And now we're just incorporating those ingredients, and then we're going to add the oil. All the way to I'll grab your oil, John. Thank you. Teamwork. Yes. We have fun in the Massville kitchen. And you can slowly drizzle the oil into the all right, right tell into me the, there you just right and just pour it all in slowly. All of it? Yep, slowly. I can go all oh, not slow. so fast. Yeah, oh, that's okay. It'll work out just fine. That's enough probably. And we well, got a nice. smells great already. Apple cider vinegar probably nice. brings all the flavors out too. Yeah, and a little bit of cider in the beer and everything. So we're just gonna drizzle some of that into our salad. Oh, that looks amazing. And there it is. What a beautiful salad. Oh, Toss nice looking. Thank you so much, John. There you go. Hey, it's a pleasure having you here. Thank you. I, I love being here.